we're gonna just start from scratch. There are plenty of rocks here, but there is also like solidified clay. We could use like those chunks of clay. They'll soften up once they get wet. My name is Rafa Esparza and I'm a visual artist based in Los Angeles. And it's usually you make like a longer kind of like tube with it. But if you hold it up and it holds its shape and it doesn't like crumble, then you know it has clay in it. I've been working predominantly with Adobe and collaborating with a group of students from U of A to build these like trapezoid shaped bricks that'll be used to build like an Adobe Rotunda that'll be used like a solar observation room here at Mocha Tucson. The recipe that my father taught me is one that people still use, like people still build with adobe in his hometown. The way that I go about making adobe is how I learned it from my father, who was a brick maker in Mexico, in Durango, Mexico, where he made bricks before he came up to the States in the 70s. It's still like a, a viable building material, so people still build their homes out of the material. And it's dirt that has between 25 to like 30% clay content naturally already in the soil. They add horse dung, hay, or some kind of like grass fiber and water. But so all of this is like locally sourced. And then we'll shovel, we'll do like maybe four wheelbarrows to create like a crater. It's a lot like baking. <laughs> So you mix a lot of the, the ingredients while they're dry before you add the eggs or the water. And then we'll put some rubber boots on, stomp all of the material and mix it with our feet before we add the hay. One, two, three. There we go. Beautiful. A lot of the artists have been having conversations about just like the inherent life of the Sonoran Desert. Thinking about how plants and animals live and thrive in this landscape, but also how the landscape has been weaponized to make it uninhabitable for people that are migrating through it. I wanted to kind of think about how we could also, as people that are surveilled, people that are criminalized, creating an intimate space that could be a place of refuge, a place of respite, to be able to gaze back at the sun without being harmed by its heat, or blinded by its light. So this brown rotunda is being composed of all of the bricks that I've been building with the students that I've been working with over the last several weeks, as well as folks that showed up for the community Adobe Brick Making Day. What's interesting about bringing Adobe into a brutalist building like this is not only like the sort of material differences when you're in an adobe dwelling, you're literally like surrounded by earthen walls. It's interesting to bring in this material because I think it also brings a conflict of cultures that uphold these kinds of like architectures and cultures that have been displaced in these landscapes, right? And I'm interested in that. I'm interested in this conflict. I hope that it could also inform how people relate to the natural landscape here in Tucson and beyond. <laughs>